Hey, good morning, everybody. This is uh, Coach Bill with Weight Loss Made Easy Solution. Hope you guys are uh, having a great uh, Thursday today. Looks like we're going to have another super hot day today here in the valley. Guys, I, I had to get on today because I had to talk about how excited Emily and I are. So obviously the, talk, the topic that we're going to talk about is uh, Coach Bill and Emily are excited. First day back to the gym. Wow, it's been almost three months, if not three months. And both of us weren't sure what was going to happen to our strength and our lean muscle when we did get the opportunity to get back to the gym. Now, uh, I, I wasn't off completely from lifting weights those three months. Uh, my son has a makeshift uh, gym in his garage. Uh, we worked out about three days a week. Uh, the intensity was not near what it was when we, uh, the last time we worked out in a gym. But we were doing uh, rubber bands. He does have a bench press, so we had to uh, uh, use our creativity on doing uh, different muscle parts. Uh, couldn't really train super hard like we'd like to, to actually help to build more lean muscle. So what we were really going after is just trying to see if we could maintain uh, what we had when we left. So we weren't too sure, you know, what was going to happen. Well, those of you that follow me know that Emily and I educate people on primal eating or a ketogenic diet. We also uh, combine it with intermittent fasting so and prolonged fasting. And we also uh, combine it with the uh, number one uh, best water on the planet to help hydrate us not only while we're training, but throughout the day, which is hydrogen-rich water. We combine it with, with that. And I've already shown you guys tons and tons and tons of science on how, on how all that works to not only put you in an overall health environment, but also to help flush out inflammation and help to uh, actually add more lean muscle and increase your... Um, performance if you're an ath uh, athlete, which is tons of science about it. So you guys know that that's what Emily and I really teach. Besides that, you're going to get the byproduct, which is what? More lean muscle tone and lose that excess belly fat or body fat. That's the byproduct of all this stuff. But uh, so today, and you guys, now I'm not sure if you guys remember, I've done a few videos on our training, how Emily and I as seniors, we train very, very hard. We train. We, we do a lot of uh, uh, interval strength training. We believe in strength training, uh, especially uh, we want to go higher weight. That is safe, safe to do at our age. Um, but we want to go heavier than the normal person out there, even the normal young person out there. And there's a reason for that, especially if you're a senior. Um, how important uh, interval strength training is for a senior to not only build stronger bones and tendons and li ligaments, but also to be able to, to burn off and add muscle tone and to be able to burn off that excess body fat. And I've, to I've shown you science on about. You can go back to my uh, YouTube channel, type in Bill Mabry, subscribe to it. And it will talk about that. Or you can go to my uh, Facebook page, group page, private page, which is Weight Loss Made Easy Solution, and join that. And there's articles in there about what I'm talking about. But you guys also know that follow me, that I, like, that I uh, document everything that we do in the gym as far as weight and reps and sets because I need to know this for my own information, but it's also kind of a science research for me to prove that even though you're 40 plus, there's no reason why you cannot keep adding lean muscle that will obviously help you to burn fat. And not only that, but you guys know that I've got different protocols on uh, primal eating and, and combining it with intermittent fasting and drinking the water. And I want to see how the different protocols work, not only for ourselves, but for our clients. And the best way to do that is keep a document on the progression of our exercising and how we're able to add more weight 
which is telling us we are actually adding lean muscle at our age. I mean, we're well over 50. I'm actually well over 60 years old, so there's really no excuse. You know, as you can see, I still have my workout shirt on. Uh, I think we've been back now from the gym for about 45 minutes. We both always work out in a fasted state when we're doing interval strength training. And our protocol that works for us on our workout days is either an 18 or a 20 hour fast. And then on our non-workout days, if I'm just doing cardio or going for a hike, I'll, tr I'll stick at 20 hours. I'll even go to 23 hours. That works for, for us. And you guys also that follow me know how there's a lot of skeptics out there saying that my nutritional program or others like myself, there's quite a few others like us that promote the kind of uh, nutrition that we promote to help build lean muscle, is technically, according to them and most professionals out there, including tr trainers and health coaches, believe that by, putting, by doing a higher fat nutritional meal plan and a very low carb, not only is it going to increase your bad cholesterol, which is BS, I've proved that with my science and with the documentation, that's a bunch of crap, because you have to understand what the real truth is behind cholesterol. There's two types, and you have to understand what causes bad cholesterol, and it's dietary. That's what causes your cholesterol to be bad. You can go back and research my videos and see what I mean. But the other thing, the big thing is, is there's skeptics out there that are, that are giving their clients the wrong advice. They're totally wrong because they have no education in this at all. What they're doing is they're just going off of, what, of old school. Old school is over, guys. You've got to do continual education constantly, almost every single day, and look at the new research because things, science changes all the time. And so old school was that if you were to do intermittent fasting or prolonged fasting and you combine it with primal eating or a ketogenic diet, you're going to lose lean muscle over time. And that's, a, I, I, that's BS. That's not true. I just now debunked it again. And what do I mean? Like I'm going to go back again. I'm going to say I document everything we do uh, every time we go to the gym. I write down exactly the date the weights we're using, the reps, and the sets. And we don't do the same workout every single day. We, we change it up all the time. I'll go four to five to six weeks on one root, routine, and then I'll change, change it back up to do another different types of exercises for that same body part. And if you look at my documentation, we have a max set where on our body parts, we do do a max set every time we work out that body part. So it's nothing, it's, it's not a high rep. No, I don't believe in that. I'm sorry, I'm old school. I believe a stick, let's stick to the safety part of old school because it works. It's been working for decades, okay? And so when we got in the gym, of course, I was all excited like a little kid in the candy store because it's been so long, you know, three months being away from the gym for us is really a long time. Well, so... Um, Today, I, you know, we started off with flat dumbbell presses. I haven't done, and Emily has, has not done flat dumbbell presses in over three months now. I think it's about, oh yeah, I think it's over three, three months. We had no idea, okay, where do I start? Do I start where I left off three months ago? Or do I drop my weights down to where I feel that uh, I won't be overstressing the body? Well, you know, after I thought about this, let me just have some of my coffee first. After I thought about this, I said, no. Let's go ahead. I opened up my document, uh, my, um, all my forms, went to and started where we stopped three months ago. And I said, okay, flat dumbbell presses. This is what we're going to do. Now, when we, uh, when we stopped, I'm going to try to remember this. When, when I stopped at flat dumbbell presses three months ago, uh, my first set was 55 as a warm-up set, which was 55 pounds flat dumbbells. Remember my form. I always do. I do a one-second pause at the bottom, and I do a one-second pause at top, and I do a three-count on my negative coming down 
to make sure I don't get hurt. Okay, that's the way I work out. And so my first set was with 55 pounds. And honestly, uh, 55 pounds was kind of light. I was kind of mentally blown away by that. And then Emily started off with her first weight at uh, 12 reps. We did 12 reps as a warm-up. And she blew, blew it right, right up. And so that kind of subconsciously got me a little excited. Well, then my next set was um, 10 reps flat dumbbells with uh, 65 pounds. And like I said, my form is excellent and slow. Well, you know what? The 65 pounds felt like probably 40 pounds, like, I, like, a, like it should be a warm-up. Well, that's my second set. So my intensity should be, I don't know, around 65 or 70 per, percent. I should feel some pretty good resistance on my second set at 65, and I really didn't. Well, then the truth comes when I do my third set, because my third set's going to be with 10 reps, pumping up 75 pounds. Now, I should really feel this one. I should be at close to, what, 75% of my max? Well, I was shocked. 75 pounds felt like 55 pounds. It, I just it blew it up. Emily's the same exact way, and I, and I told her, I said, man, this is bizarre. So here... We've and during that three months, I did more of the prolonged fasting than I did in the prior eight months before I stopped training. So I did a lot more prolonged fasting, which means I did a lot more 20 hour fasting and I did a lot more 23 hour fasting and I did multiple fasting in a row. So I may have gone two to three days of doing 23 hour fasting. So and yet, I come back in the gym and I feel like I'm even stronger. And, and, and so, what's this telling me, guys? Well, on our max set, we do six reps. And that's going to be around 85 to 90% to fail. So, we're going to use a weight, basically, that my last couple of reps, I do need a spot. If there's no spotter there, I will fail, probably. So, my next set was 85 pounds and I blew 85 pounds at six reps without even thinking about it which totally blew my mind Emily on her set she did um, I think it was 45 pounds something like that now remember you know she's a little tiny thing but she's got a lot of lean muscle on her so if you were to look at her and see her blow up 45 pounds six times the right way, like I said, we pause at top and bottom and we come down at a slow three count. That's huge difference than somebody, most of you out there that are just going too fast. Try it our way. Use the same weight you've been using and I can guarantee you're going to fail toward the, toward the end of your exercising. I can guarantee that because you just it's not going to happen. But anyway, so we just debunked it. So those of you that are skeptic out there and that think that by doing prolonged and intermittent fasting and by doing a primal meals or a ketogenic diet where you're very, very low in carbs is going to cause you to not to uh, burn muscle, we just blew that all away. Matter of fact, I'm going to go one more week with the weights we use today and we're going to have to increase those, those weights, okay? So that just goes to show you that science is telling you the truth that these protocols that Emily and I are educating people out there actually do produce and activate your own hormones that are known to help you add lean muscle. That's your growth hormones, your testosterone and all the other neural adrenaline and adrenaline and all these other hormones. And we're controlling the hormone that is causing weight gain, and that's insulin. So that just proves to you guys, this, this really does work. Now, it's not going to happen overnight, obviously. You've got to build up to all this, but it does work. Okay, guys? So I had to get on today, let you guys know, don't let anybody out there, don't let a trainer, don't let a health professional, don't let a doctor, I don't care who they are, that are telling you that a primal eating meal plan or a ketogenic diet along with intermittent fasting and prolonged fasting 
is going to cause your, uh, your bad cholesterol to go up. That's bull crap. You can go back to my YouTube videos, and I, there, I, I, on the video it shows all the science. It's BS because they don't really understand that there's types of cholesterol you have to have and what actually, what is the root cause of bad cholesterol? They don't tell you about that. They don't even explain to you that, get this one. You know, have you ever heard of a cholesterol being a boat in, in your body? It's, the cholesterol is not what's causing the issue. A, a cholesterol is just a boat. It's a carrier to take triglycerides to the different parts of the body. But there's a root issue <laughs> that will cause that cholesterol to be what they call, I'm trying to stick to the word now, to be acidic to the body or to be, to oxidize. There's a nutrient that actually causes the cholesterol to oxidize. That is the cause, which, which causes inflammation in the liner of the arteries. That's what's causing heart issue, okay? It's very simple to reverse it. Very simple. Okay, guys. So, guys, like I said, I hope you guys will get a chance to uh, get to the gyms here soon. Um, if you want more information on our training and our coaching, you can message me. Uh, like I said, go to my Weight Loss Made Easy Solution uh, group Facebook page. A lot of good videos, a lot of good downloads. I even got some fat-burning recipes on, on there. And especially, especially those of you that have type 2 diabetes or a fatty liver or premature, or, or you're a premature diabetic, and we and I both have now become, um, we, we now have been, we've helped many, many people reverse that. So basically, we become specialists in it. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day. Bye.